Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, um, we're gonna talk about the Abyss of Legends and preparing for it. So, Kabam said the Abyss of Legends is going to be released on it's in this tab over here. It's gonna be released if I want to load January fifteenth, which is in from the time I'm recording this. Um, you're probably gonna see this video tomorrow, but you know, by the time I'm recording this right now, that's two weeks from now. 14 days, next, next Wednesday, it'll be released, and I just want to know, like, will I be able to, the big question is, will I be able to, without spending money, <laughs> complete it right when it comes out, because whenever big content comes out, like, 6.2, 6.3, like, the first day it was out, I just blitz through it for fun, just because I just want to get to the final boss, I want to see what it's like, Actually, that's not true. With 6.1 and 6.2, I didn't even close to be blitz it on the first day. Because I think I, um... For 6.1 and 6.2... 6.1 is the crossbones. I didn't have a counter for at the time. I had blade, which blade can work with, like, a certain way you play them. But I didn't realize it at the time. So for, like, a few months, I was just sitting there. Two, I stopped at Mr. Sinister. Because I was like, I don't even want to do this fight. And I realized you could use Blade for it again, doing some weird play style. It was like blocking only, I think, and just getting the parry damage. And it actually did work. It was pretty good. It was just long. And then the champion. That took me a little bit. And then once I was like, I had a rank 5 to uh, meet Supreme. I was like, you know what? Let's just go for it. And I did it. And it was pretty easy. But then 6.3 came out. Literally, I was in school. It was a few weeks ago. I don't remember. Like a few months ago, maybe at this point. Literally, first day, I just... A few hours, just, like, when I got home from school, just grinded through it. It was, like, I just blitzed straight through it. It was really fun. Variant 4 came out. What is Variant 4? Is it in here? No, it doesn't. Uh, it's in this one. Variant 4 came out. Um, I think it's called, like, if it wants to load. It's called Waning Moon. This, I 100%ed on the first day. It was, like, 7 or 8 hours of just straight well, maybe I don't. I don't know how long it was, but it was a few hours of just straight grinding. Um, that Deadpool fight would have been a lot easier if I got my ghost a little bit quicker, and so then we'd come to La Abyss and Labyrinth. The fights were like five hundred thousand, and La um, then the easy path for um, what's it called? Oh, so so Realm of Legends. Sorry, that's what it's called. Sorry. Rumble Legends was 500,000 health. Labyrinth, the easy pass, was 1.5 million. So if they stick to that, I think the easy path, my guess, the easy path for Abyss is 5 million health. That's my guess. Times 3 again. That's like 44.5 million, but I think it's just going to round it up to 5 million. And I think the hard pass, the inner pass, whatever it is, I think they're going to be 10 million. I end. I want to know if I'm ready, because... I looked at it, and I spent a lot of units trying to um, do 6.2 recently. Just like There was a few fights that just really pissed me off, so I just uniteded through them because I was annoyed. But if we look at the arena, if I can, for the next two weeks, get all the milestone points in the 3-star, 4-star, and 5-star. 6-star one, I don't really do. I can get like 350-ish units in each arena. Um, if I go hard, I can get all the milestones in the five, six star one too, but I don't, eh, I don't really want to do that too much. And then I, the one star one, I just can't be asked. Honestly, I just can't, don't care enough. And 350 units. And in two weeks, that's like, what, like 1500 units maybe? Um, cause we have two arenas a week for two weeks. So that's like four arenas. What day is it today? So... Yeah, four arenas. We go back at like maybe fifteen hundred units, and if I grind the arena hard, I can get up to maybe seven hundred, eight hundred thousand battle chips, which could be like another one to two k units. So then I'll be up maybe like three thousand units, hopefully, unless I get really lucky on the battle chips. Three thousand units and the events and stuff, daily events like random twenty five units. I might be at three thousand units. So three thousand units for the easy path, and if we look at my champions. We have Aegon and Ghost, the 6-star and 5-star, who are probably going to be the MVPs for this. 
We have Medusa, recently ranked up, in case there's any, like, massive robots. We have Cap America, in case there's, like, a massive Mr. Sinister or something. But, my ghost, <laughs> we are poor on ISO, and she's only level 16 out of 35. So she's, like, a little bit over uh, rank 1 6 star. So she's, like, I just need ISO. And in the Abyss, um, there's going to be, like, a... I think someone said it was, like... And I said it was, like, a rage timer. It's going to be, like, a hit combo. Like, the more hits you have, like, the harder it gets. So, Aegon... I mean, I don't know how he's going to perform and... Well, in Labyrinth, the 3.3 million fights were only, like, 400 to 500 hits. But I wasn't boosted up, so maybe it could be, like... It was, like, high 400s, low 500s in the hits. But if I was boosted, maybe it could be like around 400 hits. For 5 million health, they're probably going to have like 600, 700 hits. And let me remind you, those 3.3 million fights, I already is at 999. For the first fight of Abyss of Legends, I really hope it's an easy fight. Because, and I hope the combo thing isn't too punishing. Because Aegon would get shafted by that, if that's how it is. I think they put the combo thing into screw characters like Aegon, because I, I don't know, like... I really don't know how he's going to do in Abyss. I'm hoping he does well. He's only Sig 109, so he carries over, like, 60% of his combo, which is decently high, but going to add Sig 200 to be very helpful. Um, Yeah, I am scared. If I grind pretty hard, I can get, like, 3,000-ish units. By the time it comes out... Will I be able to complete it? That's the question. My guess, easy path, 4.5 to 5 million health on the easy path. On the hard path, they might be easily over 10 million health. I'm like, I don't know. I think I saw an account. All right, I'm not going to go look for it right now, but I did see an account recently with a Aegon at Sig 200 as a rank 3 6 star. So, congrats to that, dude. Abyss might be a lot easier for him, but... We might be getting to the point of the game now where, like... Maxed out five stars. They'll probably be able to do it. I don't know if they're going to be able to punch high enough, you know? Is Aegon... He... Hopefully the... Enraged timer, I'll call it, for Abyss of Legends. I think... Hopefully it's not too punishing for having a higher combo. Because I heard somewhere, like, the higher combo you get it gets harder... But Aegon at a thousand hits could probably handle it. I, I would assume. But I don't know. Like Ghost probably gonna be number one. At, oh, actually not Ghost. Guillotine twenty ninety nine. That's another thing I wanted to talk about. Her ramp up for damage potential is insane. And we have we're gonna go. I think in two weeks we'll be able to open one more featured. If we get Guillotine twenty ninety nine. It might not be fast ranking up, because one thing in a poor and ISO. I can. Oh, wait, actually, let me go to my inventory. Show this. If she, if I get her, I will literally perfectly fine putting a five-star generic in her. Generics probably isn't the best for her, but she... I already have most five-stars in the game Awakened that I would even want, so I don't really care too much. But also, I need prestige. And I got this five-star Awakening gem. And then if we look over here... I don't have many 5-star stick zones for anyone, except for Tech. Tech, I can instantly pump her up to, like, Sig 200, basically. I mean, not 200, 100. And that would help my Prestige, which is mainly the reason I would awaken her in the first place. But that would also help with, like, her combo shield thing. And she's double immune. She's a Havoc counter. Her damn up ramp up is the highest in-game. Nothing can survive past, like, 200, 300 hits with her in Labyrinth right now. Her max damage is a 600 hit combo, and I think at like a 600 hit combo, a maxed out 5 star or rank 2 6 star can be doing like 30,000 energy damage per extra hit. I could be wrong on that number, but like one combo would be like 150,000 damage. Like, I think Gideon 2099, without even seeing it, just with the pure ra uh, damage ramp up, she's going to be like... I don't want to say going to be, because I don't want to make any assumptions, but Geetin 2099, in my opinion, is going to be the number one counter for Abyss, or one number one player, uh, character. 
I actually recently did open a five star um, feature, and I got this boy. Um, where is he at? We got Man Thing. Um, I don't know. I'm not even mad about that because the six point three acid wash Mysterio. He's gonna come in handy for. He's like one of the only counters. I think the only counter. I think you know King Groot, but King Groot's trash. So I'd rather use Man Thing anyway. So yeah. Um, tell me what you guys think. Three thousand units. Aegon. Hopefully get Geek Twenty Ninety Nine Ghost Rank Two. Hopefully the easy path isn't trash, and I think the final boss for Abyss might be like an uncollected version of like kind of like uncollected Thanos. It might be uncollected Collector, and or so something about the Collector. Maybe he was like a, a reward. Maybe he was like the character you get for completing it, like the one hundred percent, like kind of like the Ultron drone. But if it's the same Collector. As final boss. If the final boss is this dude right here. If he's anything like this fight. As a final labyrinth boss. With like. Over 10 million health. That fight is going to be. Just stupid. This plan is stupid. I'm really hoping the final boss. Is something like the um, maestro in labyrinth. Where you can actually outskill it. You can one shot it. But if they. I'm scared. That's all I'm going to say, boys. I'm just scared. This is going to be interesting to see if I can complete it in the first day. Or not first day, but like first few days. I don't know. F see if I can jump in. And I'm w hoping they also do a thing where like you can move around the map. Like Labyrinth can move. It's just stupid not having that. Especially with something this hard that's going to come out. We need to see what we're getting into before the fight start. So, yeah. Tell me guys what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.